All right, we are recording. Continuing in The Evil Within, finally in Chapter 4, the name of which I don't remember, but we should be able to see it soon, I think. Um, behind the curtain. Uh, so there's that. I updated the drivers, the graphics drivers, earlier today, and it, for the first time in years, actually gave me a little bit of trouble. Like, I had to restart the computer a few times. One time it came up, it was a black screen. Another time it, um... Locked up. So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Wasn't expecting to talk. Um, and what I have, how how it's currently going is I just disabled the undervolt. I went back to default settings, and it seems happy. So that is my guess. That was just the undervolt for whatever reason. It could have been misapplied. Or it is now bad, because that happens with the driver. So I already did some some gaming a little bit earlier. Um, but this will be the real test, because this is a... Well, actually, no, maybe this isn't a more intense game. I was playing Satisfactory earlier. Um, but it's more so... Like, this is going to test the system, since it's not just, you know, playing. I'm also capturing. Um... Timer. There we go. Um. Yeah. So, hang on, let me... Okay. So that's why I don't... I, I'm so not sure how much I like that. We just come into different locations. That, I mean, just... It would be nice if they all connected. Like, I can remember Super Mario World. When I realized that with the Star Road stuff, they actually all connect, so it was possible to go to each one. Um, which didn't necessarily help um, for a reason. But it's like, that that was so awesome to me. It's actually fun. I have the um, SNES Anniversary Edition thing. Um, and I do like the idea of at some point... Oh, that's not... Of at some point, um, like doing, and I also have the NES one. I got the SNES because I owned an SNES. But then when Nintendo, like, we released the NES version, it's like, I will pick that up. I think it was like 70 bucks because, like, yeah, because I, I would like to have this as well. Um, um and I would like to because I, I, I have a capture card. It's acting up a little bit, but it's I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Um you know, I would like to like hook those up, capture them. Cause I should be able to do the gaze tracker as long as I, I'm playing off of the, the monitor. It's just in theory there might be a little bit of a delay. It shouldn't be that bad though. Um the capture card is designed to not have that. Uh Um Okay. Looks like they were still designing parts of Union in here. Uh But yeah, so I I, I would this be the whole map like to do that at some point, I just have no idea. It used to be so huge. Yeah, it's, I, I know what I want to do next with the gaze track. Um, and, uh, yeah, it um, won't be that. It's also, I'm so not used to control anymore. And it's one of those things, that I'm sure other people felt this as well, where if you play... So I just wanted to look to see the XM is still going. I My heart rate should not be that high, but... um. You know, it, it is working. Um, 
this one of those you know, like you go back and you play and ever found yourself where it's like man i'm terrible at this that's how i felt because i did play a little bit of super mario world when i first got the snes classic that's what it was the snes classic edition not anniversary What was that? Um. It's this one. There. So that it is functional. Uh, but I figured since I got the NES, I, I would start with start with like uh, Mario there. But it is the case I will not be. There. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I did not have the NES. My brother had an NES. I had an SNES. Um. And there's actually a little bit of a funny story. Uh, one of the games I had for it was Yoshi's Island. Which is a very good game. Um, at least it was back then to child me. Um, but the cartridge actually died on me. And it was funny when it did. Because what happened when it died is the screen went white. Well, in one of the worlds where you're introduced to it is you basically run into a blizzard. So the screen is supposed to go white. So that happened, and it's like, it, it's like I'm, is this right? It, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. The the cartridge died. <laughs> so I had to get that replaced. But uh, yeah, it, it, that that is one of those funny things. At least I find it. Funny. Maybe you don't. But hey, now with with that, I, I in theory can go back and replay it whenever the hell I want. And I might even be able to do video. I do not seem to have a way in. I'm gonna explore this room before I head. I wonder if it's I need to get the power back on or something, and that's what will mess things up. I did not mean to do that. Oh, cool. Other stuff. Emergency lockdown procedures are currently in effect. Lockdown can be disengaged by tuning to the frequency on your communicator. Might as well give it a try. Okay. Um. No. Emergency lockdown deactivated. Please wait for system reboot of each annex. Stand by. Um. Recreation area emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Research wing emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. This is very annoying. Like, I, I don't even have a chance to, like, hide from them or whatever. Just... You have to fight them. 
Okay, that is a bug. It should not have killed Security the mutant. Annex, emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. I feel like I just walked out of something. Okay, that definitely looks like I should be picking that up, right? But um, one thing that has occurred to me that is interesting to think about is... Not that I'm old. I mean, there's certainly things that make me feel old. But, um, it's, you know, I, I have the memory of the NES, and the SNES, playing on them, and the N64. My brother had that, so I didn't play on it too much. But is you know, do have those memories. It's weird to think about how many kids today that are playing games that have no concept of, or very limited concept of, um, graphics that are limited by what's possible, and also that, I was like, you look at Mario 64 today, or Ocarina of Time, it, it doesn't look good compared to, well, let's use this for the example. But, if you consider the fact that those were, like, when they were released, they were revolutionary. Super Mario World, when it was released, I'm pretty sure it was somewhat revolutionary. It did, there are some things that it did do, actually, that were that were novel, or maybe that Yoshi's Island with that, but in any case, it's just interesting to think about how, not that this should be any child's first game, but there are people that, there, there are kids that think that this is for graphics, that they don't know what it was like before, when no, 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 you, you that it, it, there was a time when you couldn't have something this good. It was just techni not technologically possible. Um, also kind of like how there was once a time that there were no save games. Nothing saved. If you, if you wanted to pick up where you left off, you would have to like write down a code. You know, it, it, the game would give you a code and, and uh, you could use that then to um, Jesus, the smell. get back to where you were. Um, and now true, there are some games that try to replicate some of that stuff, but, I mean, is there even a child that doesn't recognize that it's replicated, that it, it is retro? You know, I, I would think they all realize that. Or that they see it as, that's just the style. Uh, like Minecraft is like yeah initially that's what was pop that it, there were technical limitations involved and also an artistic style but today I mean they could especially with it being Microsoft so they got Microsoft money they could you know substantially overhaul that and make it look a hell of a lot better kind of wish they would at least the Java portion because uh and they have been, is my understanding, but it's th there are definitely ways that it could be better. Um, which it does also remind me of something that I would like to do at some point. I'll probably end up doing it with a laptop, though. Um, at least first, you know, as a primary machine which is uh, running Linux and using containers to virtualize Windows when I need to. Now, unfortunately, if it's 
a uh, laptop and I have to make sure it's an AMD laptop, which are not always that common. But um, the Linux OpenGL driver. Oh wait, no, no, no. He told me. So this is the this. dreaded gas leak, huh? Um. Thanks, O'Neill. I'd never make it through without this thing. It's like a maze in here. Does that actually like? No, it did. The. What? Hang on. Can I go back? Yes, I can. Um. Yeah, the for AMD the Linux OpenGL driver is superior to the Windows driver. Um. And it would be interesting to actually see that. And would be one reason to, you know, try doing the whole, you know, like, Linux, but containerized, um... Uh... Windows as needed, because that way, you know, can just use the Linux for things that are better on Linux. And there are such things, e e even besides uh, that one specific example, um, where it is just looks out to be better on Linux because of things like just how Linux is. Um, the optimizations are different, and in some cases, it gives Linux the edge. Yeah, it's not the situation for me, but um, the two thousand. But AMD's Ryzen 2000 Threadripper suit is an example. Well, at least the like the 2990 WX and 2970, I believe. Um, those are actually better on Linux because Microsoft never really figured out the schedule properly. Huh. I'm... Is there a key or something here I can pull up? No. I'm, I'm just... Maybe that does mean that I can... I do get to come back and do that stuff. I, I don't know. Um... But, uh, yeah, the, uh, because... So the way those Threadripper CPUs work is they had a f total of four of the Zeppelin dies. Only two of them, though, had direct access to memory. The other two needed to go through the, the the two with memory access in order to access memory. So it was an extra step, and that did degrade performance if you didn't configure things right. Microsoft basically never bothered to have them configured right. Um, Damn. That means I can't rely on my firearms. Um... Whereas on Linux, um, you could. Wait for it to come back. Um, or rather, Linux, the way it was set up, did handle the uh, NUMA nodes, the non uniform memory access setup. Now, still, what AMD achieved with them was pretty awesome. Duh, crap. There we go. Um, like being able to set up a system that you could swap between Numa and Yuma at time. Unified memory access and non-unified memory access. Numa and Yuma. Um, okay, so I don't see anything else here. It's just the bottle. 
but yeah, Microsoft basically never really fixed that. That's something that has I, I've seen mentioned again because of the with Alder Lake and how that's such a different architecture design. It's like, yeah, Microsoft spent the time to get that right, and will continue to spend the time to get that right, because Intel is a, a um, uh, crap, first-class citizen, whereas AMD is more of a second-class citizen with Microsoft. I mean, to be fair, Intel has long had market dominance, and they have the money to throw at Microsoft to help. Money and resources, so it would also be, like, embedding engineers. Um... Oh, that's something. Um. It should actually let you cross. An electric lock. Damn. Well, gotta follow the trail. Oh. Um. So yeah, it's just that will prove interesting to see what ultimately happens. That that one did surprise me. Oh, goody. With the optimizations for Alder Lake, I mean, and Rocket Lake after it, which I did see a rumor that they are gonna be tackling the inefficiency of it. It is so weird doing this in first person. Because I also feel like this isn't the right aspect, uh, the field of view for first person. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, it, it will... In my opinion, I don't remember if I talked about Alder Lake in a, any of the... in an earlier video for this. Um, but in my opinion, Alder Lake is... It is good that it exists. Because, you know, Intel is competitive again. But it's also the case that they're competitive while drawing like twice as much power. At least when at load. So, yes, it is a good thing. But it's not as good. Um, and, and that comes into play not just for, like, in general, efficiency. Thank God. That mask smelled terrible. And you have no idea. You have no idea, Sebastian. Anyway, um, but it's also, like, if you have the 29, not, the 29, no, 12900K, there we go. If you have that, you know, and it pulls, you know... 250 watts. Can you hear me? It's Watkins. 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 What's going on? Yeah, the collapse is happening faster than we predicted. <laughs> and now it's affecting the marrow, too. Those <laughs> things are trying to breach. You gotta help me. I can't. The collapse caused a gas leak in the access tunnels, and I left my respirator on the APC. Can't you send a team through the tunnels with a respirator for me? Sorry. We can't risk the personnel just to help you. Okay. I can't. Um, yeah, I'm just taking up. Um, I feel like there was some point I was trying to get to, and it's slightly slipping away. That's right, the cooling, but let me go through this way. Exabyte? Gee.
Um, I do remember seeing one thing. I don't remember if it was talked about in The Evil Within, but there was experimentation in that on the wireless stem. You were not always in the pod, basically. Uh, anyway, so another thing with the 12900K is that when it's pulling, you know, the 250 watts, that means you also need a cooler that can handle that. And while, yeah, it doesn't actually work out quite the same, I mean, it's like... A CPU that pulls 100 watts of power should not be emitting 100 watts of heat. Because some of the power, some of the energy, is being used for, um... Uh, for the work that it's doing. Um, it's like, that. that is just basic physics, but it still is. It's a lot of heat that has to be dissipated. Whereas, you know, you look at a, um, like, 5950X, and you get, like, you know, close to the same level of performance, but a, a simple air cooler can handle it. Well, a decent air cooler can handle it. It's it's versus a 360 millimeter radio. The collapse is happening faster than we predicted it. Okay, Andrew. It's affecting the marrow, too. Those <laughs> things are trying to breach. You gotta help me. We're secure on this side. Get over here. I can't. The collapse caused a gas leak in the access tunnels, and I left my respirator on the APC. Can't you send a team through the tunnels with a respirator for me? Sorry. We can't risk the personnel just to help you. <laughs> Fuck you guys, then. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so if Rocket Lake does achieve that, that would be good. That is a way over there, but I want to look still first. Mobius really likes putting their logo on everything, don't they? Oh, wait. Too far. Here we go. Um. I will also say, though, I, I would be willing to have an older, like, like laptop or something. Um, but I, w I want to see how things, how things go, because don't think, yeah, we don't have all the, like, laptops yet. And they could ultimately prove inefficient. It's hard to say. But I will also say this, that is something that I think, um, would be really cool, is a 6-core, well, 6-P-core, 16-E-core. Like, for streaming, if the, you know, Efficiency were in check. Here it is. My way back into Union. Because, you know, being able to put... Because the E-Cores are still pretty damn powerful. They're just more efficient. Um, that would be, you know, a very good streaming setup. Because the six, the 12 P-Core threads would be plenty for probably any game. Um, and it'll also be interesting to see how AMD responds. Because they're going to. I mean... We're going to see something from them, and it looks like it might be either attached to Zen 4 or part of Zen 5. Because they announced something not too long ago, uh, Zen, Zen 4C cores. Um, Um, yeah, the, the C cores, they were being discussed in relation to 
an epic when they're server CPUs that it would be designed. And no, since I have that, let's let's go in. Um, more for multi-threaded, but well, for cloud uh, services. So it would have a higher core count. Was that door there before? I think so. What the hell is this? Different color. It's a chance to test your skills. Step right up and try your luck, detective. This is insane. You'd be insane to pass this up. Steady your hand and put your shooting skills to work. No need to worry about ammunition in here. Okay. Didn't mean to hit her. You deserve a round of applause for that. I'm sure there's someone out there that will provide that for you. Wow. Okay. Um. I'm trying to remember. There was something at some point I was getting. Oh yeah, yeah. The so like the Genoa. I think that's the Zen Zen for Epic CPUs. Uh, going to ninety six cores on there. I see you're the, in need of my services again. The Bergamo, though, that will have the Zen four C code. Those will uh, go up to one hundred twenty eight. Um, sniper rounds. Okay. Four on those. Um, ooh, goody. Um. There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. For now, and I don't think there's actually anything else I can This place is ill. It's in critical condition. The infection has spread beneath the surface and into the muscles and bones. Only the veins remain to connect the failing extremities. And even those aren't immune. It seems, however, that you have no interest in healing this place. Your only interest is getting your hands on the cure. So be it. I am here to help you with whatever you decide to do. I know my office is relaxing. Oh. Right, go back to that already. Um Yes, yeah, so I don't know if we may see like Zen four directly Zen four based um consumer CPUs. Or if that'll wait because one of the rumors is that when we get to Zen five they just have like Zen 5 P cores and Zen 4 or 4C E cores. You know, something like that. I I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to implement it with Zen 4 though. But maybe Zen 5 get get more interesting. Um but yeah, it will it will be very interesting because 
you know, AMD has become, you know, one of the technology leaders in this. And also, they started the whole chiplet thing. So it's, you know, Intel's playing catch-up in some way. AMD will also be playing catch-up, and just AMD has the money and the resources to come up with some... City Hall. Gotta stop this guy and save Lily. Um, so whatever AMD comes up with, I mean, it's not just gonna be a last-ditch effort like Zen or bad guesses like Bulldozer. They probably will figure out something good. It'd be a question of how good. Man, not that. Oh, no, this is something else. It's him. is that seriously well i'm actually almost done um like th there's five six minutes left so not sure i'm ready for this but i can't turn back now okay um yeah we'll just you know, stop here um but yes i mean j just it will be interesting to see what amd's hybrid Architecture. It's not really right to say big little. For one thing, that's a specific term relevant for ARM. Um, but it's a hybrid architecture design in general. Like that that that's what generally it should be referred to as. Um it will be interesting to see what they do. It will be very interesting. And with that, uh yeah, we can uh, stop and you know get the next one going with chapter five. It looks like maybe it is now chapters will be shorter, just chapter Three is really long. All right. Uh, yeah. See you next time.